Hello everyone, Thigfig here and welcome back to another The Outer Worlds video where we're going to move in now and talk to our quest objective here, see what's going on with this. What? Whoa, apparently they are just openly hostile to me. We're trying to fall back here. We are officially stuck on some terrain here. Stagger these melee guys that are getting too close to me. We've got enemies cowering. Hello, outlaws. I mean, well, yeah, you done just immediately pulled back away from me. Off with your fucking head. Well, we were gonna come try and talk all this out peacefully, outlaws, but you got hyper aggressive, hyper quick. Ooh, I mean, I'll just take the free loot and the free XP, I guess. Retrofitted power armor. Too bad you weren't wearing the damn thing and staring at it. Pretty little ship that guy's got there. So that's what those things look like, all non-burned out and shit. Interesting. Um, the guy was back here. I popped him right in the side of his little, cute little head. You know, just out the other side the bullet went. Um, apparently these guys were just talking to this dude. The medic. Doesn't seem to really care that I murked them all. For being a medic. Just gonna steal all of his stuff. His payment. And, um, I guess we will talk to him now. Oh, you're dashing fellow. Tremendous fella. work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Look, you got your face punched in a little. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. Ooh, your robot I'm just threw you under the bus there. Bucket of bolts. That's Ouch. Sweat. Captain Iron, I take it. Iron? Iron? The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did he? Ah, uh, you know, she did. I swear. Land on Groundbreaker, even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Um, did I really slow you down? None taken, I will let her know. You ought to be thanking me after I have any idea what the pirates were after. Meds, Number three. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Okay, what will you do now? Um, who are these meds for? Supposed to be for the groundbreaker, but getting shot tends to hinder one's delivery plans. <laughs> yeah, that does happen. Um, what will you do now? Why does groundbreaker need your bootleg drugs? Hey, who are you calling bootleg? I'll have you know these are 100% genuine stolen drugs. That's the same as bootleg, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> why does the need because stolen the meds? Board, in all their herpetological wisdom, will only sell the meds at a huge markup. Groundbreaker knows better than to pay board prices. Not when they've got me running for them. More importantly, they can't afford to. Yeah, that does make sense. Uh, what will you do right. now? I've got some repairs to do. Thankfully, I'm as skilled a mechanic as I am a violence resolution expert. Are you? Because it looks then, like I resolved it all. Groundbreaker. Better late than ever, I say. Unless you're very late. Then you might consider defaulting and skipping station. The fees <laughs> will bankrupt you. <laughs> oh, that corporate life, you know. Um, ow, I'm on fire. You need help? I can help you. Can we you talk to you again? Cost of ammunition. No. Thanks, pal. Uh, that's one way to look at it. You got a lot more stuff here than would fit in your little ship there. Unless that's what these things are. They hook into the back? Yeah, that's what it actually looks like. So these things tow these things. Okay. They're like little freight hauling little thingies. That's cool. I like that. It's a really cool little concept here. It's a tiny little map, so we're just going to keep exploring it, I guess, and clearing it of all enemies. Um, they're going to push wide, right? I do see some more behemoths. Oh, I wish my people would not die fighting behemoths. Be great. They're going to bury themselves, and then they're just going to run right out in the middle of all that shit and get absolutely fucking zerked down. Holy shit. 
Those are some big ass fucking mobs on me. Uh, what's up, Victors? Um, I got some friends that I'm not a big fan of. Uh, any assistance you want to give would be great. Drink some to help her from getting meleeed to death. Hit him. And get that last hit. We nailed it. Uh, cycle through guns and put fresh mags and everything. Do like that little terraformer here. Kind of odd that this is all out here. To be honest, didn't super explain why this asteroid is what it is. Unless it's just like a, a way station or a pit stop. It's kind of like lawless. Hmm. It's kind of odd why anyone would even think about stopping here, but I guess if you're going down and getting chased by pirates and this is the closest little bit of atmosphere to Shay, and obviously someone with a lot of money here is trying to terraform this motherfucker. <laughs> this giant terraforming machine here. I'm pretty sure no like average Joe could afford. Definitely looks like a corporation kind of thing trying to set up a base here. Which I guess also makes sense why there would be supplies and stuff here. I'm not gonna lie, when I had that fight, I came around and saw my dude. I was like, holy crap, friendly NPCs. But no, they're just they just my companions. Just my companions. I thought they were like a neutral or a just friendly little outpost. Because his armor looks like some of theirs. So, you know, that happened. Um, doesn't look like I should... Leave it on forever. And the pipe bombs. Else they are just yourself. Yeah. Is it pointless? It gives you a huge area to work, mine, extract resources from. It's incredibly impressive looking. Pretty epic overall, to be totally honest. How close I'm gonna F5 this one. It's been a long time and I'll be kinda sad. How close can we get to this? We can't get that close. It actually lights us on fire. It does a decent amount of damage. So, don't run into the terraformers, everyone. Uh, we learned that. I learned that lesson for you. Um, got outlaws here. here we go. Pop him in the side of his head. We got a melee guy that I'm going to miss like three times. Oh, good shot, sniper. Your buddy just ate that round right for you. Now oh, I need to heal. Finish you. Oof, that little acid pistol just shreds some of these guys when he opens up on them. It does have a long reload time, it looks like, though, for him. But damn, when he opens up... You were that sniper that actually hit me twice, I think. Way more ammo than I shot. Just because this rifle really doesn't use that much ammo in a fight. Extended mag on this is a huge, huge, huge bonus. I do love that. Definitely helps this thing out a ton. Um, did I already loot all this stuff over here? No, I did not. Big open areas like this are so hard to keep track of what you've looted and haven't looted. It's kind of ridiculous. Push that far, I've looted. Pretty sure looted this little area too. Here, I already checked those two just a second ago. Um, open that box. No, we did not take those seven credits. Have a box up there, an explodey box down there. Um, that's where my ship is. So I guess we're gonna push back this direction. What do they see? A north northeast or a northeast? Almost directly northeast from our location. Just looking around for lootables. What does this say? CNS Benno. 809 Benno. I mean, this thing is just really, really cool. I, I really like the way they did this thing. There's like just enough. There's actually no moving parts that I see. They just made it look like it with the lighting and all the particle effects makes it look like there's moving parts. That's really well done. I could have sworn there were some moving parts in there, and there's just not. Captain Long, independent freighter, Cat's Meow. Well, yeah, that's the name. 
Our sensors caught movement on the fringes of Celosia. Haven't seen anything since, but I get the impression we're being followed. I'd ordered engineering to go dark and drift cold for the next several hours. We should be indistinguishable from space, space debris, should famous last words. Why do I feel like someone is targeting us and knows what to look for? If this is true, then we're already dead. Yeah, this place seems to be... If you get sent here, you're being targeted and someone has an inside scoop on you. Is kind of how it's seeming to turn out based on how many of these ships say they were hunted and like people knew everything about their flight plans and what exactly they had on board definitely seems like they're all being targeted that was a whiff 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 all day long okay guys that's embarrassing I, oh we're just gonna you know when you start being a dumbass you just keep it up apparently I've got a melee guy on me. We need to engage him, and I need to stop just whiffing all my shots. There we go. Early, it happens. Early, guys. You're just going to let these guys do that to you. They're dead. Okay. Way more rounds than I would have liked to have had to fire. Sometimes, you go from being really good at aiming to just really, really bad for no reason whatsoever. I could have sworn we killed more guys than that around here. But this whole no highlighting of corpses and stuff is quite painful on the whole loot department. Um, I see that corpse, but we already looted that one. Trying to distinguish things out. That's a rock. Um... Bucket, I guess. I knew there was another guy around. There's one. Um, we can jump up here. More ammo. I actually went through more ammo than I normally did on that flight, but it was still like only 18 shots. So really not that much, to be totally honest. Even when you miss more than half your damn shots with this gun. This gun is insanely ammo efficient. Not even sure why I'm moving towards this structure up here. Ooh, that is a behemoth. We're gonna bust out a plasma cannon. Hopefully nail that shot, because if I fuck it up, we lose. Yeah, I took out one of the bigger threats already, so that's good. One of them dug under the earth, so he's going to reappear. That looks so badass in that armor. Love it. This cannon makes really short work of these primals. Definitely worth having one or some high level plasma weapon if you're fighting these primals, man. But we figured that out on the first planet that the plasma is just so good versus primals. Um, there's gotta be more to loot than just that one dude from fighting all those primals. That doesn't make any sense. That don't add up. I mean, like, one more loot box, and I would call that on, on par for how much loot per primal kill. Looking like a no-go? Things sounded different there for a second. It sounded like an engine hum. No, no ship coming in. No nothing. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Now there's got to be people and things all up here, right? That would make sense, but we found a cave! Cave means one thing. Usually means creatures, but it could mean people as well. But it usually means things. The fact that there's lighting down here makes me think people? Abandon prospecting drone. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna loot all your little buddy stuff here. The ones that just totally ditched you, it would seem. Salutations. This unit's primary function is excavator. Owner, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Other functions include Dialogue, dialogue limited. limited. Current active commands. Excavation. That is all. 
I just been digging here. Um, what are you excavating? This is removing rock matter in search of minerals, metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. Okay, you're looking a little rusty there. Um, so you're a prospector. Identified. Affirmative. This unit could discuss excavation at greater length, but does not wish to strain its daily charge. Thank you for your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. This unit will store this exchange in its memory banks. Always. What a random ass exchange. Greetings, junior Excavator. Greetings. Junior really nothing excavator. more to do with him? Interesting. Okay, so I guess that's all. Really, really random. I want to say there's more down there, but like random interactions is what this game has. Um, I've seen it before, so fuck it. We'll go with that. Just a really random interaction and let him do about his day drilling away. That is a primal brute. So we will um, engage said primal. That is a primal behemoth. That is not what we wanted to run into. Um, out here in the wilderness. Reload, reload. Finish you. Are we good? We're good. Unswap that. Get rid of the charge and reload. Oh, no one in the settlement notices me shooting like plasma cannons off and shit out here. Primal Hind. Always letting me down in the loot. What was special about that one I killed then? Because one of them I killed had so much loot packed into him. All these other ones I've killed are like a nothing. I wonder if that one I killed was bigger than a primal brute? It looks like it was the same size. But now I don't know, and the game's got me wondering. Hmm. Don't see any loot there. Also, again, don't know why I run around with that pistol out. The pistol does not do anything I need it to do or any work whatsoever. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. What are we looking for? Looking for loots. Yeah, I would not say this place is abandoned, but... You want to throw that card out there, you can. But we didn't explore down that. Like some more... Mega Primal. I wonder if that's the thing that had all the loot. Does the Mega Other Creatures have all the loot? Those were the things that were super dangerous. Um... This whole... Mechanical sentry. Are they going to be aggressive? I'll give these things the benefit of the doubt. Oh, they're hostile. 10 out of 10. Lots and lots and lots of hostiles, actually. Oof, we're getting beat the fuck up. I'm going to try and heal them. I'm going to pull back a little. Because they all got their shit pushed in. Like, absolutely pushed in. Now, I've got some things going hyper-aggressive on me. Let's see if we can whittle down their numbers a little. These things seem to have some sort of plasma tracking weapons, which is concerning. Put them down. Now, it looks like I've got two slow movers coming all the way around. It's me time to loot these, hopefully. Or both of those get around that corner. I really love my teammates right about now. It'd be great support, you know? Um, yes, we're gonna just take these two when they come around the corner. Or they're gonna reset? Yeah, okay, they reset. Means down there, there are two. Speed up the healing on these guys just a wee bit. We're incapable of doing just about anything. Um, where are these two robots? And they would be slow at getting back up here. 
way did they go around? Or where are they? Things are going to creep up on me in the worst possible time. And I know that. There they are. Here we go. Engaging threats. Put in the fresh mag. They should kill off them both. Okay. Easy peasy then. We'll go loot these. And uh, see what they were um, hiding, you know? Then we will head up here. Workbench discovered. Um, so someone was trying to set up a base of some sort here. Oh, hey, they don't have the typical item on the sink in here. Interesting. It looks like this place was cleaned out fairly well, probably between outlaws or when the people were pulling out of here. They actually did a good job. They just left some ammo in a box. I guess if you had plenty of ammo, you can leave some behind. I mean, I wouldn't personally leave that. That's heavy. Yes. Fuck it. It's just a little bit of ammo. A lot of people, it wouldn't be the end of the world to leave a little bit of ammo behind. Um, pick that stuff up. What are you selling? Just all the food? Ooh, and armor. Garbage armor. Garbage weapons, but food nonetheless. Okay. Sure there's some people that were stranded here that would love to get to that vending machine. Um, this has a box, 19 cartridges, and a hackable door. Done. Or a lock pickable door. Free stuff! Yep, mod parts. I thought I button mashed all that stuff. Apparently I'm not as good as looting as I think I am. Some hammer. Do -do -do. Pick up that stuff. Pick up some of that. You know, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Did loot that, right? Yes, we did. Okay, so that's that little building looted. Anything around back? Is there any way up top? See anything up there? F5 to save that. I guess on to the next building then, everyone. Oof, this one was not cleaned out anywhere near as good as all the other ones. Well, I say that, but those lockers were all empty. Man, mandible recharger, rear ranger. Mandib. Wow, this is defeating me. Mandibular rearranger. Okay, some sort of melee weapon, but we figured that out. But anyways, guys, we got a science weapon here. Now. Oh. I'm going to actually look at the science with a little more detail. What does it do? This weapon was created by an unknown and possibly quite deranged scientist. Exactly how it works and why is a mystery. And it has never been duplicated. Okay. Um, we'll try it. Why the hell not? What does it do on me? Because science weapons are supposed to... Ooh, well, that sounds evil. Um... with it interesting okay well we're just gonna hold on to this but anyways guys we're out of time i got this fancy little new weapon here um and i really do appreciate you all stopping by it doesn't mean a whole lot um and if you like this episode try any of these playlists rounds me in videos there's a whole bunch of them and if you like some of those think about liking subscribing commenting hitting the notification button and watching all my content front to back to really help my own next and being an awesome member of the community overall and i will see you guys in the next video dig big out My stick we got here. Blows. It's got energy on it. it. Says it's a science weapon. I'm supposed to be a smart guy. I don't know English, but I'm supposed to be smart. Someday we'll figure out what this stick does. We will. We'll figure it out.